guys and welcome to another vlog. It is currently Sunday night, um, the last night of the Ultimate Planner Sale. I actually vlogged a little bit earlier today, but that will have been in last week's vlog. Um, so this week, like I said, today is the last day of the Ultimate Planner Sale, which means that this next week is going to be... I mean the week after but it's gonna be the week that we are actually processing all of those orders shipping all of those orders everything like that so for this sale I actually wanted to grab the camera because I just sat down I'm currently mass printing um, autumn so autumn was the only kit that was unlimited because it was our new kit um, and I did the unlimited for it because I knew if I didn't it was gonna be gone quickly and I didn't want that, but I just pick listed them and we sold so many more than what I thought that we did. I knew that it was a lot. I went today and I packaged about 150 orders. None of those actually had this kit in it because we don't have these ready yet. Um, so I did that and there were some orders that didn't, that I did not package. They're missing um, small things like glitter headers. I didn't put a limit on glitter headers or like our regular date covers just because those aren't something that take a really long time to get through. So I didn't want to limit those. Um, so this kit as well as date covers, glitter headers were unlimited. I'm sorry, I keep pushing the button on the printer I'm printing. Um, anyway, so I pick listed these kits and I just told Bianca and Catherine and Mindy, how many was it? I think it was right around 200 just of these kits um, and then about 150 glitter headers for these kits. I didn't even look for date covers um, and those are foiled glitter headers so it's not just as simple as the new printer I have to push a button. If, if you're wondering why I keep doing that, that's what's happening. Anyway, so those 150 glitter headers are all foiled glitter headers. That's not including a count on the ones that aren't foiled. Um, so we've got a lot of work to get done this week that I didn't think um, it was going to be quite this bad. I was thinking maybe, I don't know. I don't know what I was thinking if we're being totally honest. Anyway, so it's looking to be about 200 at least of these kits uh, when I pick lists like that. I pull from Etsy and I pull from Shopify, which means they don't like combine themselves. I have to add them in together. And actually they're right here. Let me pull it up real quick and I'll tell you. I believe that just the deluxe kits was well over a hundred just for deluxe. I believe mini was right under that or maybe it was B6. Did I say 200? Four, thirty. Oh my goodness. About 150 glitter headers. Yeah, about 100 deluxe kits, about, yeah, it's, it's going to be about 250 to 300 of these kits that we need to get through. Anyway, so I am printing them. I've been printing them. Um, the normal pages take a lot longer than processing them through for foiling. Right now, I'm doing B6. So since I had started to mass print these, I did, I think, 100 of each kit and thought you know we'll have some extras and then I went in and looked at the num at the numbers so that's not what's happening um we're gonna have to uh print some more so I am gonna go ahead and get through all of the ones I keep accidentally canceling this printer I am gonna go ahead and get through all of the ones that I already had mass printed um so that mom can start foiling those in the morning and we may do them in batches instead of trying to get through all of them at once I may have her sit down foil all of these while I cut all of the pages to go with these over the next couple of days and then we will just repeat that with a second batch. I'm thinking that might be better so that I can at least be shipping orders as we're you know finishing those up instead of being like well we need to get this many before I ever sit down um, because when I mass print like that it's a lot of sheets um, to cut through and we would just be missing pieces. I don't know if I'm making any sense. I'm really tired. It's pretty late. Um, it's about 8 right now, 8.06. I'm going to attempt to set you guys up here. There we go. But yeah, so I think that the vlog for this week is, again, going to be pretty boring because it's just going to be me and mom working on all these orders. Um, in my opinion, the week after a sale like this, like Ultimate Planner, is 
just as stressful if not more probably more stressful than the week leading up to it just because I don't like having this many open orders sitting that's why I took today I packaged up as many as I possibly could um, anything that was over 75 had the foiled freebies in it and I don't have those yet so a lot of orders are just sitting waiting on those um, I got through I think about half of the first 30 orders a lot of them contained the autumn kit but those are batched out so that I can't mix them up they're all within their own batch um, I've got a stack about this big of orders sitting over to the right that we're just missing some glitter headers I'm gonna get through those tomorrow as well so I can go ahead and get those to the post office um, and then I've got a ton of orders I've got them on the floor I try not to show those in videos because if a label is accidentally showing somebody's address I don't want to do that um, so I've got all those orders on the floor they're in the buckets like the mint colored ones that I have in those shelves um, we're gonna take those to the post office in the morning we're gonna start working on these kits everything that I have right here these are just B6 and then I will show you guys once mom actually starts foiling it's a really big stack I've got waiting for her she is gonna be here Monday through Friday this week so that she can help me out getting all of these done and it's a good thing because I did not realize there were this many of them um, the foiling if these weren't foiled kits I would say we could get through 300 kits in three days just different sheet each day um, but because they are foiled they mess up they have to be reprinted they take a long time to get through the foiling and all of that so I'm hoping to be done by Friday I just don't know I don't know um, but I'm hoping that's that's the goal the goal is to be done by by Friday um, but yeah so that's what this week is gonna be like I said Sunday night I am still working it's eight I've been up working since I believe seven I did take a break to go get some groceries but I just wanted to get all of these kits done um, at least what I already had printed so that when mom gets here in the morning she has a huge stack to go through while I start printing the other sheets for these um, I do want to say to anybody that participated in the sale even if you didn't shop with me um liked the pictures on instagram in the facebook group participated in the giveaways anything like that thank you so so much your support really does mean everything especially in a big sale like this thank you for supporting you know the shops and um yeah also if i, I know i believe stephanie watches or she watched my other blog i also do want to say um I was what I was gonna say before I just went off on that tangent was I don't know if the admins for that group watch my vlogs but I do think that uh, Stephanie was the one that told me she did um, I just want to say thank you to the, all, all the admins again they are amazing if you are a shop um, a shop owner you run an Etsy sticker shop and you have thought about doing one of these sales I highly suggest you apply for ultimate planner sale I've said it before it is my favorite sale to participate in I really really just love the group of girls um, which changes every single time, but it is the same admins. Um, I do love that group. I think that they are just the nicest, the most helpful, just all around. I really love that group of people, <laughs> um, at least as far as the admin side. I mean, the shops are always great as well, but as far as knowing what's going on, there being no confusion on what's going on, and if there is confusion, you have somebody that can respond to you really quickly. Um, I think that it is the best sale at least in my opinion it's definitely the one that i enjoy the most but now that i've rambled for 10 minutes about nothing i'm gonna keep um printing out these sheets and i will try to get some footage of uh, maybe me packaging orders because i keep saying i'm gonna do that and i keep not doing that and since the orders that i will be doing once we get to these autumn kits will all mostly be containing these autumn kits maybe i'll get the tripod set up um and i'll get some footage of me doing that but i will talk to you guys a little bit later Good morning, you guys. It is currently Monday morning. It is about 11 a.m. And I'm completely exhausted. If you follow me on Instagram or if you're in the Facebook group, you've probably already seen. But last night around 11 p.m., John actually brought me a puppy, um, which I have been saying that I wanted one, and he found one. Um, it was a friend of his. had Their dog had had puppies. And he is a Schnauzer Yorkie mix, so he doesn't shed, and he's going to be pretty small. Um, but he got here at about 11 with it and then me and the dog didn't actually go to bed until about 2. Um, he's really, I think he's 8 weeks so he's pretty young and he's needs to be held. Um, he's pretty whiny but we're getting him settled in now and he's actually got a bone. Mom and I just took him to PetSmart to get um, a bed 
and some other stuff and he's got this little bone that he actually is really liking so he's kind of paying attention to that now so here he is hi Ozzy hi ow that's my hand get your bone hello Hello, yeah. Hi, baby. Okay. Hi, see. baby. Oh, see. Here's your bone. Look at your bone. Here's your bone. Yeah, there. There's your bone. There you go. There you go. So yeah, uh, really bad timing with the um, ultimate planner sale weekend happening. Anyway, so I'm um, trying to get him trained. I know he's really young. Um, I need to call and make a vet appointment. Um, the people, John's friends that he got him from, said that he had, I think, six or seven week shots, but it, I believe he's about eight weeks now, so I need to get him into a vet just to get checked and to get any other shots that he needs. But you guys will probably be seeing a lot of him in the vlogs. He's actually really like happy right now with that bone, which is great because since he's gotten here, he's not been okay unless he's been in somebody's lap. Um, he just wants to be held. Hi! Hello! What are you doing? Hello! Yeah, see this is what he's been doing. Is just, he wants to just sit in somebody's lap and just be held. Um, and he is super young, but hopefully i can get him trained soon and uh yeah i just wanted to show him to you guys but you guys will be seeing a lot of him and his name is ozzy i don't know if i said that or not but yeah so i'm mom's over here foiling i'm about to go and attempt to start cutting i don't know if he's gonna let me um but that's what's going on on monday luckily i was able to package a whole bunch of orders last night so we're doing pretty well as far as that don't step in that water bowl ozzy <laughs> Oh, uh, anyway, so I will uh, talk to you guys later. Go get it. Hey guys, it is currently Tuesday. I said that really weird. It is about 2 p.m. I just went and dropped another batch of orders off at the post office from the Ultimate Planner sale. Um, Mom just left and I ate Sonic. And I don't know how I feel yet. Um, it's probably one of the worst things I think that I could have eaten because right after I ate that pizza last week, I went straight back to keto. Um, just because I feel kind of better when I'm eating that way. But <clears throat> Ozzy is doing much better today as far as I can like not just have to hang on to him the whole time um it was that even if he would fall asleep like under the couch or anything as, as soon as I left the room he would get up and like try to follow me and cry until I stayed there with him um so today is much better he has actually been sleeping out by the front door um on a little blanket I got him a bed he won't sleep in it he actually slept there most of the morning um which was great like mom was out here foiling I was in there cutting and he just stayed there and didn't really move um so today if you guys can see that little there he is he is currently curled up on the couch uh taking a nap which is wonderful because he's actually letting me work today we're gonna be really close i'm sorry um anyway so he is sleeping there i just like mom's gone now but i was just um, in the office doing something and I came out because I didn't know where he was because normally he just kind of sits there and you know stares at me I came back out and he was actually in that same spot by the door um, just laying down so I moved him up onto the couch with the blanket because he likes sleeping there and I'm gonna try to get some more work done because it looks like he's gonna let me um, it is Tuesday so it is girls night Rowan is gonna be coming here um, I actually took Ozzy with me to the post office since mom was with me as well and he does really well in the car. He just kind of falls asleep in my lap. Um, if she's holding him, he whines a little bit because he doesn't like to be, I don't know, he doesn't like to be able to not get to me, um, which is, is fine. And I think it's more of just a puppy thing at this point. I think that because he sleeps with me and everything and he's with me all the time that he just assumes that I'm his, I don't know, mother, which I guess I am. Um, but anyway, so he, oh, this sweet baby, he is passed out on the couch right now. 
Um, so while he's sleeping, I'm going to attempt to get some more work done. He does sleep a lot. He's only eight weeks, so he's sleeping pretty much all day. Um, he'll wake up for a bit and then play, but he wears himself out really quickly. So, and I think yesterday, a lot of the reason that he didn't sleep quite so much was because he was really anxious still. And if he wasn't being held, he wouldn't sleep. But today, he seems to be doing better. Um, as far as that goes, he's done really well with going outside today. Um, although he did pee in my floor this morning, but that's okay. <laughs> he's learning, we're trying. Um, but yeah, so that's what's going on on Tuesday. Rowan is gonna be here in, later. And I might try to get <clears throat> a little bit of footage later, but I have a feeling I'm not going to be able to because she wants to see the puppy. Um, but I'll try. So I will talk to you guys uh, tomorrow. Ozzy needs a bath. He has not had one since he got here, and he's needed one since he got here. Um, he actually, uh, John went to Tennessee to get him. So he actually peed and pooped in John's truck, and he rolled around in it. Or not rolled around in it, but he stepped in it. Um, and I like, you know, washed his feet off when he got here, but he needs an actual bath. So, don't you, baby? Don't you need a bath? Yeah, you need a bath, huh? You need a bath. Now, yesterday, or I should say last night, while I was in, a sh in the shower, um, I have a walk-in shower in my bathroom, so I can't leave him alone. I put his bed and some toys and stuff in the bathroom, and I thought, you know, he can see me through the glass, he should be okay. Um, so I did that, I tried to take a shower, and I couldn't stop him from coming in, and he did. He waltzed right on into the shower, and stood there and cried, got underneath the water and cried, cried, got out and cried, shook everywhere, came back in. Um, he doesn't do well with not having somebody that he can, like, get to. Anyway, so he got wet last night, but I didn't actually give him a bath while he was in the shower with me, which I, I'm really hoping that he doesn't do that every day. Um, but I'm gonna give him a bath. I'm going to attempt to get vlog footage. Bianca wanted me to show it. So I'm gonna try, but I don't know that I'm gonna be able to get the camera angled to where you guys can see what's happening, um, because I have a feeling he's not gonna enjoy this. Um, although he might because uh, he was uh, he didn't care to get wet in the shower for last night But anyway, I'm gonna put the camera up and see if I can get footage. Obviously. I'm not doing this in my shower I'm gonna put him in the tub. That's in the second bathroom. I'm filling it up now Hi, baby He just woke up from a nap and he's really playful right now So I'm gonna do it while he's not very tired, um, but I'm gonna try to get footage I don't know if if I get it. It'll be here Oz Ozzy Give me a baby Yeah, you, you smell just a little bit. Do you wanna say hi? Say hello. Okay, here we go. I don't think you guys are gonna be able to see, but I'm gonna try. In you go. How is that? How do you feel about that? Um, ah! How do you feel about it? How do you feel about it? I mean, he's wagging his tail, like Chewy and Burton really hate baths, but I can't get this camera at a good angle, so I'll show you guys here in a minute after I get him clean. Okay guys, so Ozzy likes baths, which is great, because Burton and Chewy both hate them. Um, I've got him wrapped up now. I didn't get his little head wet, or I tried not to, just because I know that they can get like ear infections and stuff when they're this small if they get water in their ears, so I didn't want to get his head wet. But I did get his little feet all washed and the rest of him. He just, he isn't very wet on um, his face. Uh, but he actually really liked it. I forgot to get like a cup or something to rinse him off with, so I had to run out and grab one, and he started crying pretty bad when I did that, but it was only for a second. Um, other than that, he was wagging his tail. I, he really didn't seem to mind at all. And now he's just kind of cuddled up. Can you say hi? Can you say hi to the vlog? Yeah. He just, he likes to be held, so he's fine like this. Um, but yeah. So I, sorry I couldn't get any better footage, but it was only for a second. I didn't want to keep him in longer, like get him super scrubbed down or anything. He just needed a little bit of a wash to get uh, cleaned up just a bit. Um, but yeah, so it's now almost 4 p.m. So Rowan is gonna be here pretty soon and I'm hoping that Ozzy likes her a lot. Um, he likes mom a lot, so. I will talk to you guys later. Hey guys, it is currently, oh my goodness. Okay, it is currently um, the 4th of July. It is Wednesday. Um, Mom worked from seven until one today. We have a massive stack 
of the autumn kits done and I'm gonna go ahead and start shipping those out tomorrow I, I wanted to start shipping them today and then I realized the post office is closed um, so I am going to oh, I'm gonna start shipping those out tomorrow morning um, Ozzy has his first vet appointment in the morning we're gonna go get some puppy shots so yeah um, I took him with me today we had a cookout at mom's and I took him with me um, I don't I like I got him a crate I think I mentioned but I don't like leaving him by himself and I knew I was gonna be there for a few hours um, and Chewy and Burton are there so I figure I'll go ahead and take him um, see how everybody reacts to each other so um, they actually scared him so bad when I went to like I had him on the leash I you know let him go to the bathroom walked up to the front door and the dogs had no idea obviously so they were barking and everything and I opened the door and they ran out because they they I, I don't know if they knew it was me but they knew it was somebody so they came running out the door and they actually scared Ozzy so badly that he peed again everywhere um, so I picked him up we got the dogs kind of like calmed down um, Chewbacca is just such a snob like he he is a Yorkie and he really acts like a cat like he doesn't really care about anybody or anything he doesn't like play with toys he just sleeps and he just he's not a playful dog um, he's very much like a cat and then Burton loves to play he's a, he's a schnoodle so he's half schnauzer and half poodle um and ozzy is half schnauzer half yorkie so he's actually kind of like a mix of chewy and burton um but burton was just so excited that he couldn't like he couldn't handle himself um so ozzy was pretty scared of them both at first chewy actually acted like he was really scared of ozzy he didn't want to come near him but i don't think it's that he was scared i think it's just he didn't want anything to do with him um burton though wanted you know to sniff him to play with him all kinds of stuff um i got a little bit of footage i think on my phone of that happening if i did and i can like get it to turn the right way i'll put that in here chewy Chewy. No, no, you'll scare him. You'll scare him. No. Chewy. You'll scare the little baby. No, Chewy. No, no, Chewy. You're going to scare him. Hey, Chewy. Hey. Oh, it's okay. Um, Chewy just the whole time, though. And Ozzy actually wanted to, like, try to play with Chewy. I'm thinking maybe his mom or his dad looked a lot like him, but Chewy just wasn't having it. Burton, we ended up having to move like downstairs a couple of times because he was just scaring Ozzy so badly because he was just so excited. So yeah, that was today. I was going to stay at mom's because where they live um, is up on a kind of like a mountain. So you can see the fireworks that Asheville shoots off from there. And I was going to stay and watch them, but I ended up leaving. It's what time is it? It's almost nine now. I think I left around seven. Um, Ozzy was just so worn out and I'm exhausted too. He's a lot of work, like a lot of work. Um, so we ended up just coming back home. I think I'm just going to go to bed if we're being totally honest. I just, between like doing something for tonight and sleeping, I really just want to sleep. Um, like I said, we did cook out, so I went and did something, but I just, we're both exhausted. So we're going to sleep for a bit. Um, I think that's it. I'm sorry if this vlog is like just all the puppy, but it's, I mean, that's kind of what's going on right now. Um, so it's probably going to be a lot of him for a while. He is cute though, but that's what's going on on Wednesday. What you got? What you got? <gasps> Go get it. Go get it. Good boy. Bring it here. Good boy. Ozzy, let me clean the floor. Ozzy, 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 Ozzy. <laughs> let go. <laughs> oh, and you're mean. Thank you. Ozzy, Oz, ow, Ozzy, Ozzy. Can I clean the floor? <laughs> you 
You have so many toys. Oh, hi. Oh, hi. So this is Ozzy's favorite thing to do, is give me a heart attack by jumping onto Ozzy, the back of the cat, back of the couch. Ozzy, you're gonna fall, baby, you're gonna fall. I'm so scared you're gonna fall. Oh. If he just sits like this, like on top of the pillows, it doesn't bother me, but like he sits on the very back. And I think it's, hello, I think it's because he likes this blanket so much. Hi. Oh, ew, ew, ah, Ozzy. Hi. Please get off the back of the couch, you're scaring me. I, get out of my hair. Ozzy. What are you doing? Ah! What, ugh. What are you doing? What are, is that your spot? Ew, ew, is that your spot? Please stop licking my mouth. Is that your spot? Quit scratching. Oz, what are you, <laughs> okay, bye. Hey guys, so hi, it is currently, Ozzy wants to, you wanna say hello? Do you wanna say hello? It is currently Thursday, um, and this morning Ozzy went to his first vet, he's so playful right now, he went to his first vet appointment um, to get some puppy shots and then just to get looked at. Um, I know that whoever had him has said that he had had his first round of shots. Um, I don't know if that's true, uh, and the vet also agreed that she just wanted to redo all of them, so he had his first round today. Um, he wasn't happy he cried and when we got back home he kind of just was just terrified um he he slept in my lap while i packaged orders um he finally let me put him down and he slept in the floor of the office while i was packaging um he seems to be feeling a little bit better now though he's been running around for about the past half hour and yeah so he everything looked good though um for what they checked for hi baby hi baby what are you doing? Hi. Hi. So he was really sleepy when we first got back, but now he has been just running around like crazy for about the past half hour. What's that? What's that? What's that? Oh, okay. So yeah, he's feeling much, much better now. What you got? <gasps> so yeah, he's doing this again, feeling much better. No oh, goodness. So today, um, mom was here. Mike was actually here as well. He went with me to the vet. Um, we, uh, well, mom was foiling and cutting and I was packaging orders. I got through about 150 more today. Um, we still have a few hundred left and I pick, <laughs> I pick listed, look at this dog. <laughs> um, I pick listed whatever, like what else we needed um, to finish out orders and it was like 30 pages worth. So I really just needed to know like autumn for the most part. Also the count on fall leaves was wrong. Um, it was only wrong by like 20 kits, so that won't take us very long to get those together. So she's gonna, I've got those mass printing now. She's gonna do those in the morning. And then as far as autumn kits go, like I said, we've got a few hundred orders already packaged. And uh, we still need, I think we're missing about 130 kits for autumn. So we're gonna work on those tomorrow. I have a paper delivery coming tomorrow. We did get started on premium mat today but we are having problems with it which i ordered samples i tested this and it was foiling wonderfully and now um they're not foiling well at all um i've mentioned before that that paper curls really badly and i think that that's what we're having like the issues foiling it is because it's curling so much um so i'm thinking that with that paper we may have to print it one day and then keep it pressed down for like 24 hours before it goes through the foiling machine. Right now it's underneath a bunch of paper, um, the ones that she did foil, but I don't, if, it, if it's gonna do this, we're not gonna be able to offer it. Um, but yeah, so we were working on that. What is it, baby, what's wrong? He's just staring. Um, anyway, so we're working on those. Uh, this week, I just said in the Facebook group, we're not gonna do new releases just because there's still so many of these autumn kits. Um, if I didn't have Ozzy, I would go ahead and do them, but since I do, I'm not able to work like all day like I was. I'm having to stop, you know, when he wakes up, um, take him out, play with him for a bit. And he is so small that he normally falls back asleep within, 
maybe half an hour to an hour um, but he's still like especially today he has to be right next to me and I don't want to cut in the office with him right there when he's not feeling good so I've just been packaging orders and he did let me get through quite a few of them uh, Mike was here we were working on a lot of stuff while Mike was here because um, Ozzy was with Mike but he's what are you doing what are you doing on that pillow what are you doing I got him some of these little um, bones, and this has entertained him because I think he's teething for quite a while. Um, last night, I went to take him out right before bed. It was probably 10 p.m., and somebody set off a really loud firework right next to us. Like, I mean, it, it wasn't right next to us. I didn't see it, but it was so close, and it scared him really badly. He had been doing really well with that. Um, and ever since that, like last night when we, after that happened, he wanted to come in, brought him inside, and he just kind of like cuddled up on my like neck and chest. And um, I had to go to bed, like I had to get him in bed like that. He just wouldn't, he was, he was terrified because they were still going off. And where I live is really, really close to like Main Street downtown. So I think that's where they were setting them off. Um, I think the one we heard was a neighbor, but then they started setting off the actual fireworks for the town. And he was just so scared. So he's had a really rough couple of days. <laughs> um, but yeah, so that's what's going on on Thursday. Like I said, new, no new releases this week. We're just going to skip it. Um, I thought that if we could get through these premium Mac kits today that we would release that. But since we're having issues, I don't think that's going to happen either. Um, and then next weekend will be mystery kits. And then probably at least one new collection. I may do two since we're not doing one this week. But yeah, that's what's going on on Thursday. We are just kind of hanging out right now. He just woke up from a pretty long nap where he was asleep in the office. So we're playing. And uh, yeah, so I will talk to you guys a little bit later. <laughs> oh, goodness. Urgh. Give me that. You give me that toy. Ooh, mean puppy. <gasps> what you got? What you got? What you got? Hey guys, it is currently Friday. It is, oh my goodness, excuse me for the hiccups. It is about 6 p.m. Um, so Ozzy is currently where, where are you, baby? Hi, there you are. What you doing, Bob? What you doing? Um, he is eating a little bit. He has been running around playing with me for about the past half hour, and I think he is getting sleepy. I hope he is getting sleepy. Um, he really likes to like have a toy thrown, and he'll chase it and bring it back. Um, so I do that for like half an hour, trying to wear him out so that I can get some work done. Um, he has had a couple of accidents in the house today um, and I know he's just little but he was doing really well and then I don't know what's happened um, but yeah so he um, still though he's doing he's doing good last night around 2 a.m. he actually woke me up he was like throwing up um, I'm hoping that was just because of the shots that he had yesterday because he's been fine all day today I got him up out of the bed last night um, took him outside for a little bit and he went right back to sleep. So I'm hoping that it was just the shots because um, today he seems to be fine. He won't let me go anywhere. Look at this. Hi. Hi. What is that? Are you going to give the camera a kiss? What is that? What you got? You got your bone? Yeah. Um, anyway, so today the paper came. Um, I had placed the paper order the same way that I always do. I normally place them on a Friday and it gets here by Monday or Tuesday. It just kind of depends. Um, so I had placed it on Friday and it didn't get here until this Friday. I think that it's because of the 4th of July. I wasn't thinking. I just, I wasn't thinking about it. So the paper got here today. We actually didn't run out of paper until today. I just knew that because we had so many kits that we, excuse me, sir, 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 what, what, you look real guilty. What are you doing? Oz. Okay, he's going to eat. Anyway, so um, the paper finally got here today. We didn't run out until today. 
you guys, I've never had this happen with this supplier. I've been using them for almost three years. So let me show you guys what's going on here. So as you can see, there's paper on my paper. Um, and if you look at the sides, <laughs> hi baby. If you look at the sides, if it'll focus, maybe, it might not. No, I don't think it's going to. Anyway, um, so this is destroyed. If you notice all of the stuff all over this, I actually think it's from the box. Um, this is just, okay, so this one right here, the whole box is destroyed, but not only is the whole box destroyed, it's not full of paper. Like, it's only halfway full. So then if you look at this one, same thing. That's not a full thing of paper. Um, and then this one has the same thing going on where it just has whatever that is all over the sides of it. All messed up. Let me find the one though that was like really destroyed. So you can see again, this is all broken. This is the only one I think that was an actual full pack of paper and that wasn't that bad. Like the top's bent a bit, but the rest of it's not so bad. This is, is or is this the one that's not so bad? I know you, I know, pay attention to you. Did you bark? You guys, he doesn't bark, like hardly ever. And the only couple of times he has barked is because I wasn't paying attention to him. Did you bark, baby? He hates that collar. Um, okay, so we've got the same thing going on with this one. I don't think it's gonna zoom, or it's gonna pick up. There we go. So you guys can see whatever this is all over everything. Um, and then again, destroyed container. And it's all over my floor, like where I opened these. Cause as soon as I saw this box, I was like, that's not good. Something in here is gonna be, did you just, no, he didn't. Okay. Something in here is going to be really messed up. And then I saw the containers. Um, I was gonna try to find, cause one of them is just like filthy. It's not this one. Oz, where are you going? I feel like I have to like really, really, I mean, I always really watch him, but I feel like I've been having to like really watch him. Okay, here we go. You see that? It looks like it has been literally ran over. That's like mud. And then if you look, like look at this, it's all over me. I don't know what happened to this paper. But either way, you guys can see. Let me put you down for just a second. This was what I was actually trying to find. So look at this. I mean, the paper's ruined is, is kind of the point. Um, all of the containers are ruined. It's just, it's a mess. So what I did, because I have been buying from this company, can't talk, company for about three years, I, I emailed them and I sent them pictures and I said, hey, my my containers are missing paper. They're not even full. I said there's stuff all over them. They look like they've been run over by a truck. Um, and they got back to me very, very quickly, probably within half an hour. And they said, you know, we will get it reshipped right now. They said, but can you look at the box that came in really quickly and let us know if it's wrapped with our normal white masking tape or if it's wrapped in a clear tape. Um, and I looked and sure enough, like it is always wrapped with a white tape. It's wrapped up in clear tape. Um, so I'm assuming UPS did this, not the paper company. Um, it, I mean, it looks like it got ran over by a truck. So it looks to me like the box broke open. UPS tried to scoop it back together. Didn't do a very good job. Um, if you're in the Facebook group or you follow me on Instagram, you probably know how I feel about UPS and the problems that I've had with UPS and UPS throwing my packages, destroying my packages. I don't like you UPS and I don't think very many people do. Um, anyway. And it's not everybody, like I know that it's not because my guy here um, that delivers to my house is wonderful. He has been absolutely amazing and I don't think he did this, um, but the box has been just absolutely totally destroyed and so is all the paper, which obviously sets me back because when they reship this, it's not gonna be here until Tuesday or Wednesday. Um, and super grateful that they did that because they didn't charge me, they just sent out the paper because this is not like a small, um, you know, a cheap amount of paper. Um, so they have reshipped it, but now it's Tuesday or Wednesday before I get it, which means everything I was planning on getting finished up this weekend, I can't. Um, 
They said that they're going to file a claim with UPS and UPS may be coming to pick this paper back up. Um, so, but it, I mean, half of it's missing. Come on, UPS, do better. But anyway, so that kind of ruined my plans for the weekend as far as getting through the rest of the orders to get them done by like Tuesday. I needed to mass print. I needed to cut. Uh, we have no glossy paper right now. So I, I mean, I don't, there's nothing really that can be done about it. Um, I think what I'm going to do is get started on premium matte, mess around with it, try to get it to where it was foiling the way that it was when I was doing samples. Um, but yeah, so Friday night, I know that this vlog already is going to be super long because of the puppy. So I'm going to go ahead and cut it off here. Um, and I'll pick it up probably tomorrow. Just kind of depends on what I end up working on, but I hope you guys enjoyed. I hope it wasn't way too much footage of the puppy and I will talk to you guys next week. Bye guys.